And I've never in my entire career seen so many people that are of all different walks of life all have the same love affair with one car, one automobile. I was very surprised at the headroom. I, 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 it's a beautiful car. Uh, remembering the uh, Cinquecento in uh, Europe uh, back in the uh, early 70s, I was expecting a really tall, uh, I mean a real tight small car. It's uh, surprised all of us, I think, in this country, quite frankly. We felt like it would be heavily female. Just from the designer standpoint, it's Italian, it's small, it's, uh, you know, economical, uh, the um, straightforward pricing business model. We're seeing people, baby boomers, um, all the way down the line to 18, 19 year olds. The baby boomers represent the biggest demographic chunk, and yet they're the ones that think the youngest for that age group being where they're at at this time. So I'm not surprised that they're reliving what they remember back in the 60s and 70s about the Fiat. People name their cars, I've never seen that. Many of our clients' cars have their own Facebook pages. You know, these, these, these are not cars to people. This is an extension of their family. Just coming here listening to customers talk about the car with our uh, studio consultants, uh, uh, it's, uh, they know a lot more about the car than, uh, than, than we think they know. And they've done their research very well, and they brought a level of excitement here that, uh, that you just don't see in uh, many uh, car dealerships. The first car we sold, the gentleman pulled up in a new Maserati, and he bought two of them, one for him and one for his daughter. And I said, are you going to be trading in the Maserati? And uh, he said, no, the Maserati goes to the, uh, the garage. The Fiat 500 will be the one that I drive every day. I guess the best story I have is, is our first two customers. Um, our first customer was a 16-year-old girl who had never driven a car before her first car. And our second customer was an 85-year-old pig farmer from the Thumb here in Michigan. Uh, he was very passionate about Fiat. He, he, was, he still rides motorcycles. Uh, he's young at heart. I think it, it, it's perfect. Uh, uh, the first customer and the second customer, they're so far apart, and yet they represent the same passion in the brand. We have another young gal that uh, came in, and she bought her Fiat 500, and she goes to school up in Seattle, Washington. And she, too, had studied in Europe and was waiting for the Fiat to come. So we delivered her her dream car. And she called me about two weeks later, and she said, I love this car so much. I love the experience that I had at your dealership. Is there any way that I can, or is there any way that you can make a phone call and possibly get me a job with Fiat in Seattle, Washington? I'd like to sell these because I love it. I believe in it. It's great. So I picked up the phone. I called the general manager of uh, Fiat of Seattle, and uh, she's now a design consultant there. Thank <laughs> you.